Hello everyone, I will come back. Let's solve the problem D, problem B from the weekly contest 383. First of all, I want to say that I was not able to solve the problem in the contest and I was really frustrated and I felt really bad from inside because after practicing this long, if you couldn't able to solve the problem, you can see the total accepted we are 7000 and I was really feeling bad. But after the contest, I realized like, yeah, sometimes it happens. We need to accept it. And sometimes it's complex, but it's easy to So we will try. After the contest, I have tried it and I could, I could able to solve the problem. Let's understand the problem statement. Now, if you see, you are given a zero indexed string word and an integer k. And at every second, you must perform the following operation. Remove the first k characters of the word. He will give some word a, b, c, d, e, f and suppose my k is equals to 3. So you will pick first three characters. You will pick a, b, c and add any characters to the end of the word. You will take d, e, f here. d, f will be my same and you can add any characters towards the end. And however, note that you do not necessarily need to add the same character. It can be anything. However, you must perform both operations at every second. These two operations are done in one second only. We need to return the time greater than zero required for a word to revert its to a initial state. So we need to return the minimum time. So after seeing this, you will say, let's see how you can solve this. And if you see here, my words are 50. So let's try with the brute force approach. How you can think? Now I have df. How you, what values you will append here? So let's see which values you will append here. It can be anything, it can be anything. So I will append x. I will try to append x. So this is def and I will append x and this can be anything. So from beginning, this is my original word. From beginning, I will check word with my this character and if it is x and if it is x, then I will say this can be replaced with anything. So if it is x, I will not check the character and if it is not equals to x, then I will check for every index. So I think you have got it. Instead of taking any element we will replace it with xxx x, x, any uh, any values now suppose if you are a b let's consider this example suppose we have a b a c a b a now k is equals to 3 that means we are breaking here we have c a b a then a b a is replaced with x x x now i will compare a b a c a b with this no it is not valid then I will take the three characters. Then I will take the three characters. Then I will build A, X, X, X. Then C, A, B is replaced with X, X, X. Now this A, A is matched. And from here to this end, this can be replaced with any characters. So if it is this, I will not match. So here my answer will be 2. So same thing, if you see here, it will be applicable. Same thing here. So I think you have got it. So try to code by yourself. So I think you have tried for some 10 to 15 minutes. Now let's see the coding part. First we will take the copy. Then we, we are using do while loop because if it is if it is matching, then I will return it and we will return C. And here copy dot substring K from K to end I am copying into here and string K length into star. That means I am appending every time star 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 how much K into star i am appending here and here i am checking now target of i not equals to star if it is star it can be replaced with anything if it is not equals to star i am checking if word is not equal i will return false if it is false it will be true so my do while will continue if it is returning true then my while will become false and i will come out of the loop and directly will return c so if here my time complexity can be order of n into n mostly uh, I can't guarantee it will be n into n because every character is replaced with x. Suppose my k is equals to 1, that means you will iterate towards order of n. And here you are performing n, so it will be n square. And if my k is equals to 2, for every two characters you need to replace. For every two characters it will be replaced. So I think mostly it will go till n into n, not more than that. So I think you have got it. So if you understood the solution, please do like and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. I have created a WhatsApp community. In the description I have given it. You can join there for further updates. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.